Hey guys, how you going? Um, back with the Wave Blaster Chronicles. Just um, obviously following the progress of the build of the Wave Blaster 1. Um, so yeah, as you can see behind me, empty trailer. So she's actually at the um, at my guy's place now, my mechanics. Pretty much finished. I was there the other night and we were just uh, working late nights all week last week trying to get it finished. Uh, I think all that needs doing now is just the um, the expansion chamber needs to be put on and uh, just the primer lines pretty much. And then I'm just waiting on an impeller, a 13, 17 impeller because the old one was super worn. So uh, there was about a two mil gap between the impeller and the housing. So we decided to obviously order that. So that's the only part we're waiting on now. It should be here either tomorrow or Tuesday uh and that'll just go straight on with the pump but everything else will be done so we're planning on getting her so all old fuels out we're planning on getting her started tomorrow dump some new fuel in put it in tomorrow um i'll show you the progress i'll just show you some photos that i took the other night at the end of the video you'll see just some of the photos of the engine pulled apart and going back together and whatnot new carbies new reeds so yeah, so that's what we've done. So we've um, put new one, uh, new 44 mil Mikuni, dual Mikuni carbies. So they're all synced up and on back onto the Reva uh, intake manifold. Uh, new V-Force to uh, carbon reeds. Um, we've also put all new water lines, all new fuel lines, all new primer lines. Uh, we've de-restricted every restriction on the thing. So. Um, the exhaust had some restrictions and also the uh, pump. So we've grinded the pump and honed the pump out as well. So that's all been de-restricted. Um, run the twin cooling. So the twin cooling's all done. Uh, we opened up the head, cleaned the head. So the DASA, sorry, not the DASA, the ADA girdled head, opened it up and just took all the old O-rings out. They were stuffed, they were pinched and there was corrosion in there. So we cleaned all that up. We checked for any detonation on the pistons. Uh, that was all good to go. Uh, there was no detonation on the pistons. Um, what else? Yeah, just cleaned a bunch of things up. New fuel filters in. Um, yeah, oh, it's pretty hard to remember it all, but had to fabricate a couple hose fittings. Um, and uh, yeah, oh yep, yeah, and that's right. So the uh, impeller housing was stuffed. It was actually cracked from all the salt that got underneath it. And um, so the actual housing had split, which you've, I've never seen before. But so ordered to put in a new soulless full stainless steel impeller housing, as well as a, a pump rebuild kit because the bearings were gone on that as well. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. So brand new carbs and all that stuff. And um, yeah, guys, so pretty keen to get it back. Um, we're going, we'll be taking it out. If all goes well, we'll do a water test on Tuesday uh, and some tuning, just final tuning for it. And um, if all goes well, we should be able to be uh, on the water on Thursday. And I will be shooting some footage and uh, I'm just touching base with you guys then. But um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, stay tuned after this just for some photos of some progress shots. Cheers.